Okay, next. We have the Bacchus nor form. We use it to represent the syntax of languages. So, an overview, the Bacchus nor form is a representation of a context-free grammar. It was invented by John Bacchus and Peter Nor, both of which are computer scientists. So I hope that you can still remember from uh, katong sa subject na to before, katong himuhimu bito tag mga grammars and parse trees. So actually, gamit yung kato siya for this subject. So if if you wala na, wala na kayo mukha remember at to then please review or now kay mag po anong ta uh, mag review na po ta sa to so first uh, let's understand muna the symbols na ginagamit sa Bacchus nor form first we have this Inisha. so this means is defined as next we have kaning lesser than and greater than. So it means can be described as. And then kaning pipe na symbol, it means or. Same ra ng mga program mo. Can you, I'm not sure about Python. Okay, I think of Python. But for other languages, you write, you do have a pipe. Which means or. But anyway, so muna siya ang pasabot ang mga symbols. So please, um, get yourselves um, so, uh, familiar with these three symbols. So for an example, so a digit is defined as 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 or 7 or 8 or 9. Okay, so again, a digit is defined as we can describe a digit we can define it as 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 or 7 or 8 or 9 how about an integer or a number so we can divide, define an integer as just a single digit or a digit followed by an integer does it make sense so again, we can um, define an integer as either a digit or a digit followed by an integer. So for example, I have a number 1. So 1 is a digit, diba? Therefore, 1 is an integer. What if number na... Um, 2021. Okay, so we can see that 2 is a digit. So therefore, these must be integers, can be 0 to 1. However, if if you break down pag yun 0 is the digit, diba? And then 21 would be an integer. If you break down pag yun 21, then 2 is a digit, and then... Um, as 1 is a digit. So, bali, ang integer kay sequence rigid siya of digits. I hope that's clear. Any questions about this? Na follow ra ninyo? So, again ha, ang digit can be defined as either 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. Meanwhile, ang integer pwede, can be defined as 1 digit just like this, isara siya ka digit, or it's a digit followed by an integer. Then ka ng integer, uh, as we can, uh, as we have noticed here, more siya recursive ang yung trait, it's just basically a series of digits, ang integer. Okay, questions? Di ba, moment siya tong nasa Itong subject na to before. Yan yung mga yapon kong itsura. So, please review if you have the time. Okay. Next. Uh, next slide. Okay. We have a, a Bacchus Norform example for a full name. 
So ang full name, ano siya? A full name is composed of a title followed by a name. Okay? So, ang saman ang mga titles na to. So, ang titles na to kay Mr., Mrs., Miss, Miss, and Doctor. So, that would tell us na ang full name would start by either of this. Okay? Meanwhile, ang name... Meanwhile, the name uh, is anang, can either be initial caps or name name. So, sa may pasabot ang initial caps. So, initial caps is just title case. So, for example, um, one. So, John is in initial caps, meaning anak kay ang first letter sa word kay naka-capital letter. Ang other na letters kay small siya. So that's, um, yeah, that's the definition of initial caps. Because usually, atong may mga means kay again, oh, capital letter, di ba? And then followed by small letters. So let's go back. So a name can either be, again, either in initial caps or it's a combination of two names. So name and the name. So, what does this mean? So, pwede man good nga, yung, let's say, for example, akong pangalan, John Gerald. So, duha ka buka kong pangalan bali. So, muna siya ang iyag reason nga noong pwede ka nga duha names na ito yung batang diri. Um, hmm, Okay. So, pwede po di siya nga three kabok names, actually. Okay, let's say, for example, nga, na, na define na nila to siya. So, let's just say nga na type title here. The name. Long name, again, pwede na ito ma-break down into name, name. So, if, what if nga ang imong pangalan kay Tulo Kabok ang yung three words ang imong pangalan? So, actually, pwede dyan po na siya. We can break down either ang left nga name or ang right nga name para ma- Pili po siya mahimong rocket main name. Okay, again, moment siya, di ba? Main name. You can break it down. Okay, so, ang mahita po, anak, pili din nga yung pangalan siguro, if you want. I'm just going to Sample lang. So, what if upat kabuk yung pangalan? So, again, mag-breakdown lang po na na to. Bali. Then, name. Ngayon na lang siya. So, kanyang initial caps, yes. So, mora ni siya. Initial caps. Select. Big letter next start and then small letters afterward. Okay. Questions for this? Kung diyan sa nato pag derive. Hala, no questions. Next slide. Okay, so let's analyze Mr. John Doe. So, Mr. So, as you can see, si Mr. It's a title. Okay. 
and then I think John Doe is a name. Okay. I'm going to break down to the point. We want to go deeper pag yun, pwede rin gapon na siya i-break down into kaning lower case and upper case. So, uh, kanil lang sang John ang atong i- So, kanil si ni mo siyang initial caps. Initial caps, both of upper case or lower. So, ang upper na to, it's J. Ang lower, um, lower is composed of, hindi siya doon ka lower. Lower, and then lower. And then, kaming last na lower, at ito yung breakdown. Ini memang isyak O, C, N. So, yeah, have that. Nampak. Jadi do, mana bahala ana. You try to analyze it on your own, but basically same lagi apa nih proses.